Hi and welcome to this tutorial on how to draw and shade a pear with colored pencil. In this tutorial, I'll draw the pear as in this photo, showing you the steps along the way. Before we begin, let me first show you how layering different colors creates a more visually interesting tone. Here I use yellow, a light and dark green, blue, purple, and brown to create a value scale that goes from dark to light as opposed to just relying on one or two colors with varied pressure. You can see how the first example looks much more vivid. As you watch the video, feel free to pause and try out the steps yourself. The first thing we need to do is very lightly draw out the basic shape. Often, beginners will press too hard. It's important to remember to keep it light until it's right. If drawn lightly, there will be no need to use an eraser. If we look at the color of the pear, you may be able to tell that there is yellow, an almost neon green, a darker green, and some brown. We will use these colors amongst others. Think of the color wheel. If something is red, you will also use yellow and orange for lighter parts, and purple for darker parts. This will help us to create tones. I'm going to start off lightly coloring the whole pair with a yellow base. Notice how I hold the pencil towards the end and place it on an angle. I make short marks and often go in a circular motion. Don't use the tip of the pencil, hold it on its side. I also don't use a very sharp pencil while shading. I prefer to keep it blunt as a sharp pencil can often scratch into the paper. Whilst drawing, observe what you are drawing at least 50% of the time. Don't draw what you think you see, draw what you observe. Keep your eyes darting up at your object and down to your paper, continually. Now that I have finished my light yellow base, I'm going to move on to the greens. I only have two greens in my set, so I'm going to begin with the lighter one first. Start off by first coloring in the darker green tone, or the shadow area. This just helps me to block out the different tone. I'm going to go back to these areas and do another layer, pressing slightly harder. Often, you will need to go back and forth with your different colors to make adjustments to your tones. Keep in mind that we are building up in layers. As I finish with one color, I move on to the next darker color in the scale, going back to those original dark tone areas. As you switch colors, remember to start off lightly. It's easier to add as you go rather than to try and take away after you make a mistake. Here I am using brown and going back to that initial darker tone again. The direction of my shading also follows the contour or shape of the object. Keep playing with your different colors to get variations as they overlap with each other. As you near the end, add small details and recheck if you have enough contrast in your tones. You may be surprised that I use blue, but if you remember your color mixing, blue and yellow make green. Good luck with your drawing and remember, practice makes perfect. Mr. CTV. Mr. CTV. Mr. CTV.